everybody. All right, so like Steve said, we're coming to the end of this series. So we've got lots of things to remember. So we're kind of going to do a bit of a like a recap to check if you remember all the things we've been talking about. So I need to have five helpers. And Millie and Huey are definitely doing it. Molly, you should definitely, yes, you guys. You can't come and visit and not get a, a gig. After you have that one. Oh, hang on, Huey and Millie needs one. Oh, too many. Do you know what? I need I need another helper or two helpers. Molly, you can have it because I told you. Now mix yourselves around. Don't show them the back because you've all got a number on the back. So what we need to do is put these in order. Well, look, Brody's found the cheat sheet and that is fine. Okay, so we need to find which one of these comes first and who can tell me what it means. Do, 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 do. What do you reckon, Brody? Hang on, hang on. One, Brody is getting ahead of us. Are you number one, Molly? Excellent. Who can tell me what this one means? God made the world and he was the king of the world and everything was good. Exactly. So, Molly, well done you, number one. All right. No, 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 you stand, stay up here. All right, now, who thinks they know what number two is? Hang on, someone whose name is not Brody Bro. I know you did. You know it all. So you're going to be our backup plan. All right, Alice, what do you think? Huey's number two, and what does this picture mean? Hmm. Yeah. Exactly. They think they're the boss. That's right. We said, no, no, God, we don't want you to be the king anymore. We're going to make ourselves king. So Huey, you go into number two. You guys stop. All right, number three. Who thinks they know which picture number three is? Andy. The dead person. The dead person. That's exactly right. Brody also knew this, and Brody can act it out for you later at morning tea. <laughs> All right, and what does this one mean? Does anyone over here know? Albert, do you know what it means? George? We've decided we're going to be the king, and what's the consequence of that? That That's right. That's right, because there's a consequence for that. Well, God says, well, that means we're dead in our sins. Oh, gosh, not a good place to stop, but luckily the story keeps going. All right, who is going to come next? I know there's another one, Neil. That's the end of the story. Brody, what's next? Who did God send to the world? Jesus. He sent Jesus. So he didn't leave us like this. He sent Jesus to the world. And Jesus obeyed him. Jesus treated God like he was the king. He was a person like we were all created to be right at the beginning. And what does this one mean? Who is the king? So Jesus is now the king of the whole entire world. He's the one. So thank you, everyone, for holding up the pictures. So now we've got to the end of the story. So do you guys want to sit down? And we're left with one picture. Just put them down there. So we're left with one more picture. This is the end of the story. So now we know that God has made, he's sent us Jesus to forgive us. He's made Jesus the king of the whole world. And now, I guess the point that we're at is there's two different options, two different ways that we can go at the end of the story. One of them, the bigger crown is a good choice, yes. So there's one of them where we stay acting like we're the king of the world and we're going to say, I'm going to stay in charge. I don't think you're always right, God. Or we can say Jesus is the king and we can be his friend and we can make him the king of our lives. And you know what? That's really easy to do. All you need to do is pray and try and do what it says in the Bible. Say sorry when you don't do that because we all make mistakes. And then that's how you, that's how you treat Jesus like the king. You try and do what he says. And you pray to him. So let's pray together now that we're going to do that. And then you can go and do your sheets. So everyone, I find if you close your eyes and you put your hands together, you don't get distracted and you can concentrate on talking to God. So let's do that together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you have made Jesus the king of the whole world and that you have said that he will be our friend too. Please help us all to make him the king of our lives so we can pray to him and read the Bible and do what it says. And thank you that you love us so much and you love all these kids here. In Jesus' name, amen.